Good morning, chestnuts. It is Friday today, and we are going to be finishing off our learning about Oliver and the sea wigs today. I know that's really sad because we really enjoyed learning about it the last few weeks, but we're going to be moving on to a new learning journey topic next week. So our question for today is, can I review a book? And to be successful, we need to be able to explain what you liked about the book, draw different parts of the book, and summarise the book. So what I'm going to say first is it's really important that you've listened to all of the story of Oliver and the Seawigs. So if you haven't done that yet, I would pause this and find the link on Class Dojo on the story section where I've recorded the final parts of the book and have a sit and listen to those and then come back to this task and finish it off later, okay? If you have listened to the whole story, first of all, I really hope you enjoyed it. And second of all, let's answer some questions about it. So there are some things I want you to think about and you might want to say the answers of these to someone else in your house, someone that you're sat next to, or you might want to write them down and I'll have a look at them later. And it says, how did Oliver feel about being in deep water bay at the start of the story? How does he feel now that he's returned? So we're thinking there about the end of the story when he comes back. Why are Mr and Mrs Cripps described as being meek at the start of the final chapter. So what I would do is look up what meek means and see if you can relate that to Mr and Mrs Crisp. Then we've got the question, why does Oliver not believe it when they say they'll be doing no more exploring? What do the authors mean when they say on page 185, they, meaning Mr and Mrs Crisp, both knew how sweet and sad it could be to want two different things so completely? And finally, what are the two things that Oliver has realised that he wants? What is it that Mr. Mr. Crisp must find a way to manage? Once you've had a think about those questions, we're then going to move on. So this task needs to be finished once you've listened to the rest of Oliver and the Seawigs. So like I said, it's all uploaded onto Dojo for you to listen to. Your task today is going to be to complete a book review of Oliver and the Seawigs. You're going to need to explain what the book is about which we call a summary, write the names of the main characters, write where the story is set, explain what you liked about the book, and draw your favourite part of the book. We're going to use this template to do that. So it says a book review by, so there you're writing your name, the book title, the author of the book. We're going to write a few sentences explaining what is the book about, which is our summary. We're going to explain who the main characters are, where the story is set, what did you like about the book, and then here you're going to rate it out of five. And finally, you're going to draw your favourite part of the story. And I think that's bit's really exciting because although there are pictures in the story, your favourite part might not have one. So you get to be really imaginative about how you're going to draw that scene in there. Remember when writing what the book is about to summarise it and think about the key points. But what we want to do is make sure that we don't give too much away because what people do is they read book reviews to decide whether they want to read the story. So if we tell them all the answers, then it's going to ruin it for them. So I've got two examples here. Along with his new friends, a grumpy old albatross, a short-sighted mermaid and a friendly island called Cliff, Oliver goes off in search of his missing parents. But before he can put his rescue plan into action, there's the evil Stacy de Lacey and an army of greasy green sea monkeys to contend with. So what you'll notice here, we've talked about some of the characters and talked a little bit about the fact that there's a rescue plan and that he's coming across new friends, but we don't give away what actually happens in the story. And another example, Oliver grew up in a family of explorers, but his biggest adventure is about to begin. Along with his new friends, a grumpy old albatross, a short-sighted mermaid and a friendly island called Cliff, Oliver goes off in search of his missing parents. Okay, so the summaries are quite similar because obviously we're writing about the same book but they don't give too much away about the story. When writing, make sure you're writing in full sentences using our non-negotiables. So you need our capital letters to start sentences, our full stops at the end of sentences, we need to check our spelling and make sure we're using our finger spaces. So what I'm going to do for the final part of this is show you an example. So here I've said a book review by Miss Binmore. Book title, Oliver and the Seawigs. Author, Philip Reeve. What is the book about? 
the Chris family headed back to Deepwater Bay and said goodbye to a life of exploring. Little did they know there was one place left to explore and it was to be the best one yet. Who are the main characters? Oliver, Iris, Cliff, Mr and Mrs Crisp and Mr Culpepper. Where is the story set? Deepwater Bay, the Sarcastic Sea and the Hallowed Shallows. And what did you like about this book? Now, I'm not going to give my favourite part away yet. So I've just started it off for you. My favourite part of the book was when, and then you need to finish it off. Now I've given it five out of five stars because I really enjoy this book. And I hope there might be a sequel to it or another one that's similar. So I'm just going to go back to the task section. So just to remind you what it is you're going to be doing today. So we're completing a book review. So I've uploaded that onto the portfolio section. And I really hope you enjoy doing this. What we might be able to do is put some of our book reviews on our display in school. So work really hard and really carefully to make them really effective and use all those non-negotiables that we talk about in class. Speak to you soon, Chestnut. Bye.